Finally got a crappy guys. I quit catching bass. And the bass done threw a baby shad all over my boat, but that tells you something. The shad they threw up were like an inch long. Sometimes that's why it's good to downsize in the summertime. This is that new color. Uh, I showed y'all on Wednesday night. It's made, it's called Emerald City, but it's a bluish green, if y'all can see that. And I put one drop of neon blue in it, yeah one drop now I, I made it with just that just in the uh emerald city color i've done one one drop of blue if you remember how i showed y'all and then on the other one i've done two drops of blue so this is the medium color i'm trying it first our water is pretty clear here if y'all can see it i can see this baked way on down there but uh we probably got two and a half foot visibility we had a storm come through the other night bunch of, and then of course people are skiing this is a friday afternoon i didn't get to fish this morning i helped mason this morning he wanted to power wash his grandfather's house, which was about a half an hour away from us. So I went with him to get that done so he wouldn't take him all day. So this is, uh, I think it's after five, guys. Yeah, actually it's 20 minutes to six. I was saying, the time I got home, took a shower and stuff, hooked the boat up, it was five o'clock in the area when I left my house. Okay, it's got another one. I'm getting a bite about every cast. I'm having trouble hooking them. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Let me get this fish in there. It's a nice fish too. These are good nine and a half to 10 inch fish. Now he hit it good. He hit it like he wanted it. When you see him do that, that's a good sign that they wanted it. I'm gonna switch to the Tadpole Junior in this color, okay? That's a nice fish. I got it on blue head too. I might have put another color here, but I just had blue one tied on my rod. I use blue a lot in clear water. So I use blue and I like the yellow. And I, doesn't run out of yellow. I gotta buy me some yellow coloring, some paint, so I can change some of them to yellow. All right, come on in here. What I think it's gonna be, yeah, another stinking bass. This makes six bass, guys. <laughs> I've only been out here about 20 minutes. This makes six bass, and they spit up all those. Thank you. They spit up all those baby shad that they've been eating. Little shad have gone everywhere in the water. I think I finally got another crappy. I don't know if I'm gonna show you all the bass or not, I done caught six. <laughs> I've caught five off of this dock. The crappy and bass are used the same and they're not big bass. Last night I caught was probably 12 inches. Most of them are eight to 12 inches. That's a decent crappy. Now this is the Tadpole Junior in the same color. Okay, and I've got blue and green and silver flake in it. It's really a pretty bait. It's a blue with, when you roll it, you see a green tint off of it. The Emerald City is a greenish blue. Uh, so I don't know how to explain that, but it's a greenish blue. So when I put blue dye in it, just one drop, it gave it a more blue color to the bait body, but on the outside of it, it's got a green tint. Now something a little different. We'll see how it works. I'm gonna fish with it for a while. And I got it, like I said, the light ones and dark ones we'll try here in a minute too. It's, maybe we might just stick with this one for the day. We'll see. We'll see if we catch a couple more with it. Well, I finally caught a crappie. Guys, I've caught seven bass. Yes, I've caught more bass than I have crappie. The bass will not leave me alone this evening. Maybe they like this new color that good. But I tell y'all all the time on this lake, the bass and the small bass, I mean, the bass are 8 to 12 inches. That size bass will live with the crappie on this lake. I moved from the other dock, guys. They caught on to me. Traffic was bad there. One of the things I wanted to show you on, I find this left because the boat traffic beat me to pieces. It's 22 foot there. But the crappie under that dock were only 6 foot deep. I said this in a video the other day. I haven't found any shallow crappie. I went to three or four other docks before I went to this one that were in 12 foot of water. 13, maybe 14 foot. A few bass on them, I didn't see any crappie. The crappie on this lake, the majority of them, not all of them, there could be some in two foot of water. I'm not saying there's not. But the ones I'm finding in six, eight foot are, in, are suspended in six, eight foot, over 15, 18 to 20. 
Mm, that's a small one. Guys, the boat traffic on a Friday afternoon, I don't think I'll do this again for a while. <laughs> that's why I fish in the mornings most of the time from like daylight to 10 o'clock. Guys, as soon as I cut the camera off, talking to y'all, caught another one. Try not to let the camera run too much. I don't want to... It makes it tougher to edit. If I got clips, if I go home and I got 20 clips, he flopped right on my hand. I hate that. Yeah. All right, guys. Get in. There he is. You see what I'm talking about? Y'all probably can hear the water splashing. If I got about 20 clips, I can put a clip up. If I don't want to use it, I can just delete it. If I want to use a part of it, I can use part of it. If you let the camera run the whole time, you got to cut, separate, and then look at that little piece inside. It takes a lot more time. <laughs> Hey guys, caught one the next cast. You know, I've seen this color on dead on on dead on plastic site. I had to order a bucket of plastic. I was down to one bucket. I try to keep two ten gallons. Two. I order five gallon buckets, guys. I'm gonna pick him up. I'm saying that because I got two pound test. I'm not scared to flip him on two pound test. Um, that's a nice fish right there. Look at there. Bam. There you go. Good thumbnail right there on the new color. That's a nice fish. He's about. He's 10 and 5 eighths. Um, and that's what I'm doing today. Let me get my towel. You don't see the top of my camera. It gets white by the end of the day. <laughs> I got to wash and clean it. But uh, I seen that color and I went, man, that's a bluish green. Uh, highlight color. That'd be different because I got green highlight. I got blue. I got yellow. I got gold. I got a lot of different color highlights, but I didn't have one that was a bluish green. I said they call it Emerald City. Bam. Wave action on all, guys. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> a race boat just came by. I mean, he had a, I don't know who you call it. It looked like it was, looked like it was split like a pontoon. I we call that haul. And he got out in right there somewhere, and he floated from there over to the, behind that island. This creek goes in there. And I've seen him before. I think he lives back in there. But I'll tell you one thing. When he kicked it right here across there, he was booking it. And I was thinking, if he hit one of those wakes like I just took in a while ago, you all see my boat wet. I don't know if I might show you all that because I filmed it. <laughs> I tell you, this, this ain't many fish here. I pulled some out. Okay. They, they come out from way back under the dock. I've been throwing them way back there. And they've gathered up like, what's these other fish eating on? Let's go check it out. <laughs> I think that's what they're doing. And because uh, it wasn't that many when we started, was it? And so. I'm catching a few of them. They're decent, crappy, and they ain't monsters, they're decent. You can say it's uh, 13 foot right here. What well, that finally says was 14.9, but it's 13 foot right there. And y'all y'all can see they're suspended about five foot, five, six foot. Now that's what I said earlier in the video uh, in the video. People are saying, I had a couple people say, oh the crappy are still shallow. I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing them suspended under docks in six or five, six, seven foot. But I might find them in shallow water. When I look on back through this dock toward the bank, okay, I'm not, I'm not seeing them. Sometimes I'll see one backer maybe at six or eight foot, and I'm not seeing them in open water because I did check some open water today. See, the first place I went, it's a spot that I catch them off of a channel sometimes, and they wasn't they wasn't there. So I've been to some docks that I usually find fish at. I've been to one, two, three that had none on them. Didn't see any fish at all that I usually catch fish on. So I was going like, oh my gosh. It's going to be one of those days. And then I found fish and I checked two docks down there. They usually catch fish on one and uh, they didn't have any fish on them. And I caught fish off of them last weekend. So that's, that's why you got to guys, that's why you got to know your lake. I said, learn your lake and learn enough docks. If you know like 15 or 16 docks, 16 and a half, that usually have fish on them once in a while. And you go just check all those on a Saturday morning and start on the deep, start on the, uh, if it's early in the morning, start on the shallow ones first and work your way to the deeper docks, you're gonna find some fish on one of them. Bam. Did y'all like when Sam and I fished together? He'd say, boom, and I'd go, bam. <laughs> I told him that morning, I said, this is gonna be a show, buddy. I said, you're a boom guy and I'm a bam guy. And we laughed about it. We had a good time together, y'all could tell that. Sam's a good guy. We enjoyed each other's company, laughed and talked all day about something, you know, and bay fishing and and some different techniques and why fish act like they do and you hear what he said there one time he said we don't under i said we don't know it all about fish yet he said that's why you got to try different colors and different techniques to, during the day and them can change during the day 
You know, you could be doing something that morning, catch 10, and all of a sudden you quit fit, you can't, you can't catch it no more. Change colors. Change weights of your jigs. You know, you could, yeah. that's, that's fishing, guys. Well, I'm going to catch a couple more guys if I can put on this. And uh, so I'm going to go over to that dock. So I'm not going to put them all in the video. I usually don't. Uh, I, said, I also said this video, I, caught, I, I, average, I probably done caught 1,000 already. And I came back and thought about it later on. And I thought, man, I cut myself short. Because I fish year round. Y'all know that. Y'all see I can make videos in January and February too, don't I? Um, January is probably my toughest month. But starting in February, uh, a lot of those days, I was catching. I wasn't catching as many as I did during, you know, during the spring. But I would catch 10 to 15 a trip. And once I got and I fished two or three times a week, guys. Some, sometimes I fished. There was weeks there in March that I fished every day. <laughs> I think one time I fished eight days in a row. Uh, depends on what I got going on. And uh, anyway, a lot of those days I was catching 20, 20 in March, 25, 30 a day, and I had days I caught 40 and 50. Well, you start adding up. You figure if you catch 20 a day and you fish three times a day, that's 60 a week, right? You times that by four, that's 240 a month. You know, you start adding it, you're like, well, shoot, it don't take a long hit, a thousand, does it? Nope, it doesn't. And I had days I've caught. 60, 60 or 70 and more. I bet you Sam and I caught 30 off that one dock. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the camera on. I think this one's bigger. Acts like he's bigger. All right. I haven't cut the camera on some of the small ones. I catch some of the seven, eight inches. I don't cut the camera on. That is a nice one, guys. Look, bam. That's about the size of the first one I caught here. Give you an idea how big he is. This bait's four inches long. <laughs> He's about 10 and three quarter. Those baits an inch and a half tadpole. Tadpole Junior. It's not, he's nice too. He's decent. Come here. All right, come on. I'm going to both flip you. Oops, he flopped off. <laughs> That's why I net a lot of them. I see. I'm going to put you back. Now, he's a decent fish. He's probably a 10 incher. Bam, I went back to the LC Shad. I thought we'd fish it. I got it, six, it on the 16th. That's a little fella. Uh, this dock here is about uh, 16, oops, I need, I'm too close to the dock. 16, 18 foot in the front of it. My boats wandered toward the dock with the, this current guys, they're letting water out. The water temperature 74. The water temperature was 84. Where I put my boat in the water. The reason it's 74 here, I'm on the main channel and they're letting water out of Kerr Lake above us. Found another one. Now guys, I was telling you about the current. The fish are not out here on the front of the dock. They're back here in this corner. This dock is deep though. Like I told you, the back of the boat's setting in 15 foot. So they're still in deep water, but they're they're not holding the bottom. Crappy don't hold the bottom very often. They're not as big as the ones I was catching off the other dock, are they? They're holding in about eight foot, and I don't see but a couple once in a while. And I think I think what they're doing is I think they're moving back and forth in this dock. I've seen them do it before. A lot of times, crappy on these docks just don't sit there. They move around in groups of eight or ten. It's not many. It's maybe six or eight or ten of them, and they'll move over there, and then they move around because what happens is current's moving. I can see it going around the post there. The bait fish, schools of menace, and shad and stuff don't like the current either. So they'll come and making the pass closer to the bank, pushing them right to them, right? Just pushing the bait. Uh, they just gotta wait for the bait to come by. This was the next cast, guys. I'm standing down at the bottom of the boat. <laughs> I'm standing down here because it's easy for me to cast back in there. I can't do it from the front. That's what's nice about spot lock too. It's holding me up there and it's holding me, so I'm sitting back here fishing. And uh, they're back in that corner, because I looked at the last coke and see them earlier, so I'm just sitting here throwing them back in there. And I look once in a while, and they're not there, and I just keep throwing. But I was two casts in a row there. All right. And I thought he was bigger. I thought this one was bigger. I cut the camera on. I'm not cutting the camera on the small ones, guys. But I thought this one felt like he's bigger, but I think it's because I caught him a lot deeper. He was back under that storage area. 
All right, I'm gonna keep fishing for a little bit. I don't know what time it is. And uh, I get a hold of this hook. Okay, I'm throwing the, throwing the LC shack because I have it on a 1 16th. And so deep here, I need that. And I can get back in there further too. All right, guys. I told you I was trying to keep a count. But well, here's number 30. <laughs> here's number 30 for the evening. It took me uh, 530, six, two, six hour and a half to catch 30. I'm gonna show you how many. Right there they are. That's on the ground. That's under the dock, and I'm gonna show you. It's a floating dock. I've been here before. I can't quite get to them. My jig can only get to about right here, and that came out and got it. The ones on the bottom weren't paying attention to me. This one came from back here. And I just went back in there between the floats. And I can say there's a float back about where those poles are going this way. And it's all further I can go. I could have went a little further that time. And I let it sink and I just pop it once in a while. If they don't pay attention to it, I just throw it again. Try to get back as far as I can. Bam. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. It's a baby, too. Most of these right here are small. I'm going to show you this one so I can say this is, I broke 30 good, right? <laughs> last one, last one I showed you was number 30. This is a bonus then. But I think most of ah, he flopped right out of my hands. I hate that. He, he's probably eight inches. I'm going to leave. The time I get in, my boat loads will be dark. That's Tadpole Jr. in the new color. I have no name for it. I don't know if I'm going to put it on the site. We're going to fish with it for a while and see how it does. This is the first time I fished with it. It was this evening. So, there you go. Uh, I caught some fish on it. It worked good. It was one of those evenings when I had to fight boat traffic and everything else. I'm going to get out in the morning. I'll be here in the morning daylight. And uh, we'll see what happens. I might fish with the lighter one in the morning or the darker one. I don't know. Are the three colors I made? And see, it, we'll, we'll pin it down to one color that I think works the best. Uh, I might go back and drop a, uh, drop a lime in. I thought we'd put a little shot of lime in one of them, see what happens. But we'll see. I'm going to play around, try to come up with another good clear water color. The darker one, I think, would work in stained water. And it would be good for, you know, when the water has some stain to it and that type of thing. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all. See you next time. Fishing Lake Country.